show you today are salsify. There we are. They're basically, uh, the only way to describe them is hairy parsnips. Um, <laughs> they, they grow very, very similar to parsnips and carrots and all the, those root vegetables. Um, and I just thought that they looked really interesting. They've got a creamy oyster flavoured root. So um, that'll be interesting. They, apparently it tastes like parsnip potato and artichoke. That's a combination and a half, I have to admit. But um, yes, uh, sow them March to April time and then they should be ready in the autumn. So, as it's nearly the, well, it's the 20th of March today actually, um, it's my birthday tomorrow. Um, so um, I thought that um, I would sow uh, some salsify and I would show you how to do it. Okay, so what I've done is I've um, put a line down because we need to plant them or I'm going to plant them in a nice straight line. If you want to plant them all in a group then please feel free to but I've put my line down here and just turn over the soil. Now it does say about making sure that like parsnips and carrots make sure that there aren't any big stones in if you do come across some stones good lord where did that one come from uh, remove them because they will fork like carrots and like parsnips do okay so i'll just dig a little bit i won't go all the way along because that's just boring for you really isn't it um so give it a nice dig i'll carry on and do the rest in a bit when you're when you're not watching uh, so just make a little trench not very deep about an inch deep or so okay all the way down there now if the soil is dry I would suggest running the watering can down um, and flooding it, letting it settle, letting it go through and then sowing your seeds. But because this soil is very, very wet anyway, I don't need to do that. Now if you do water them uh, because the soil is dry, then you most probably won't need to water them for at least another two, three days afterwards. It might even be longer. If you have a shower, then it may well go down but they, they do like to, to be kept watered uh, during the summer when it is very dry. They, uh, they don't like to get dried out. So there's our little trench. Here are our little seeds. Now again, this is something that you shouldn't do on a windy day. Um, I'm gonna show you them in the packet like that. Can you, hang on, let me just check. Can you see those? There, they're like little, there we are. They're like little twigs. So what I'm going to do, they're quite long actually. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just do a few and then I'll carry on doing the rest uh, in a bit. So they don't want to be spaced too close together. You want to space them quite a long way apart. So there we are. So what I'll do is I'll just sprinkle them you know, of just not too close. They need a little bit of space to breathe. At least you can see, because of the size of them, where you've actually put them, which is quite good. So once they're spaced out like that, then just cover them back over, just like that. I'm gonna put that there and then I know where I got to. There we are, just like that. Put a label in as I've already done and hopefully in a couple of weeks they'll start to pop up. Okay well I'll carry on doing the rest of the line and hopefully in two three weeks maybe depending on the weather um, we may well start to see them come up. Um, they look quite bizarre when they come up they look sort of a bit sticky um, but uh, when they come up I'll show you and then you know what to, to look out for um, and I'll just keep you up to date on their progress and when I harvest them uh, then hopefully I'll be able to show you that as well. My mum did say that she did grow them once, uh, nothing came of them so we'll just see. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I hope you found that interesting and if you do want to give them a go, then please do. Um, I'm looking forward to trying them when they've grown to see what they taste like. I might even show you what I do with them. Uh, I'll have to think about that. Anyway, uh, I'll see you again soon.
Bye-bye.